We've got to get up I do something today. Here's the thing. There's a reason I put my camera on my nightstand. I went to sleep knowing that I was gonna film first thing this morning. Sometimes when I film myself doing stuff, I feel like I hold myself more accountable. <sighs> so I've been saying for like the last, honestly, month, <laughs> I need to film a video where I show what I do when I'm in a slump and I need to get out of a slump. I've got to do something about it because I know I can and I have the ability to get out of this slump. I just have been feeling extra lazy and extra not wanting to do these things and that's okay because I feel like life comes and goes with slumps. I can't take anything seriously right now. Yes, can I help you? I'm gonna walk you through my process. Oh, that was the cutest yawn ever. And the first thing we gotta do is get out of this bed, which can sometimes arguably be the hardest part. Did you bring me this? Why did I just reach back and this was in my bed? It is so early. And you want this right now? I think the first part is just to realize that you're in one. Realize and just accept the fact that you are in a slump, not feeling like yourself. Acceptance is always a good thing. Realizing, okay, I'm off my routine. I'm not feeling like me. I'm a little bit of a mess. That's okay, because we can come out of that, isn't it? There's like some quote that's like, when you're at rock bottom, the only place you can go is up. <laughs> Sometimes the hardest things can be just waking up and doing your normal routines, like your skincare, brushing your teeth, washing your face, even taking like your morning medications, but just knowing that you're gonna feel just even the slightest bit better. Doesn't mean it's always gonna be the easiest thing to do ever because sometimes it is really hard to get out of bed and do those things. It's a great start to the day. It's the first step in getting you out of this slump to feel like a person again, to feel like yourself. Reminder to take your meds. There's no shame, there's no stigma. Sometimes we just need things in life that help enhance our brain and how we feel and how we just navigate through life. You can be doing all the right things sometimes and still need a little extra help. Cheers. I don't have any big plans today. In fact, I intend to spend most of the day here in my apartment. However, it can be very tempting to want to just like stay in your pajamas and just kind of like look like a bum. I know that when I'm in a slump, if I just stay like this, kind of feeling gross, like I'm just gonna continue to feel gross. So I'm not about to do like a full face of makeup and get glam or anything like that, but I'm gonna put on just an outfit that makes me feel cozy and comfortable and just like let my hair down. Whatever that is for you, I recommend you do that. For me, it's putting on literally anything other than what I slept in the night before if I spend the whole day just doing chores and other things in my pajamas I just don't feel as accomplished we're gonna make this quick nothing fancy but let's just look slightly better like I said nothing crazy airy matching set just like a little t-shirt short combo I'm already feeling slightly better next order of business is to get my room situated because currently I have a random pile of clothes here disgusting unmade bed and we've got overflowing clothes here as well in my little hamper so let's do a lot of laundry because desperately need to do that as a result of being a product of my own environment i really need my space to just be like as organized as possible i don't need perfect like no one lives here but i do need some kind of organization and this is not it. I don't even want to tell you the last time I changed my bed sheets. So let's do that next. When we think about self care and taking care of ourselves and getting out of a slump, we're really quick to just be like, let me clean over here and do this and do my skincare. But people often forget that like sleep is a huge part of just like feeling better, feeling like yourself. So I desperately need to change my sheets. I need to get my bed feeling comfortable and cozy. I am changing my sheets into the Brooklyn and sheets tonight for quite possibly the best night's sleep ever. If you don't know what Brooklyn is, they are a luxury sheet company that creates high quality home goods to just elevate your home your space and just to give you that comfortable living environment their whole mission like the whole reason they exist as a company is because they want to give you luxury but also affordability they want you to have these beautiful home essentials but at a fair price because we all know especially as we're getting older we are living on our own or we are buying that first apartment that first dorm room home good essentials are very expensive even when I lived in my first apartment with my best friend Logan that was like four years ago to now I feel like 
just what I spend my money on is just so much more different. I feel like back then I would just look for like the quickest, easiest, cheapest option. But I feel like now I would so much rather invest my money in good quality things. Like having these sheets, I know that they're gonna last me a long time. So for me, investing in these high quality sheets from Brooklyn, and it was such an easy choice. And I was a little bit nervous because sometimes you continuously wash sheets and they start to just like wear down or they pill or they just get stretched out and more uncomfortable over time. But I've had these for quite a while and every single wash, I'm not kidding, they have gotten even softer, which I didn't even know was possible. As you guys can see, I have this like off-white kind of cream colored set, but they have over 20 different colors and patterns on their website that you can choose from. Anything that fits your aesthetic or your comfort or whatever it is, like the vibe that you want your room to be, your bed to be. So making your home environment beautiful, comfortable, and cozy, in my opinion, is the ultimate form of self-care. It can definitely be overwhelming when you are considering investing in something like a brand new sheet set. But instead of just buying like all the individual pieces to make a sheet set, you can actually save 25% by ordering the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. This gives you the core sheet set, extra pillowcases, and a duvet cover. I have no idea how this is showing up on camera, but when I tell you these are the softest bed sheets I've ever slept on in my entire life, I'm not kidding. This is actually a 480 thread count sateen sheet set. So best believe it is buttery soft. It's gonna give you that ultimate comfort. Two things that I'll mess around with, my comfort level and my sleep. And so I'm always in like super comfy outfits. You get the best of both worlds with Brooklinen sheets. And because Brooklinen was kind enough to sponsor this video, Brooklinen is offering my viewers a special discount of $20 off any order over $100. Be sure to click the link below and use my code KaylaN so you can save some money on your next order with Brooklinen so you can get yourself some comfy, cozy sheets and have one of the best sleeps of your life. Thank you so much to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. Before I make myself some breakfast, I figured now was a good opportunity to take you guys down transparency lane. As a content creator, I do feel like I show the good, the bad, the ugly. There are times though when I share what I eat in a day or I'm cleaning or whatever, and I'm like, oh, not every day looks like this, or not every day is like this, or I'm not always this clean. And people sometimes are like, okay, but is that true? Because you only ever show us like the good stuff. So let me just kind of show you what the state of my kitchen is because honestly it doesn't look great right now and I feel like this is largely why I'm feeling like I'm in a slump because I do feel like I'm a product of my environment and when things are super messy and gross I feel like I feel super messy and gross so yeah let's just take a look at my kitchen right now this is like very messy to me this is not the normal I never leave dishes in the sink like this is totally off brand for me but you know this is just this is the slump that we're in right now this is my tripod right now so we're gonna ignore that that was brought out but like this is an empty diet coke can and my trash can's right Right there so I don't you know it just like why did I not put this garlic powder away there's just I have a lot of questions these are dry dishes that I put here and they've been dry so I don't know why I haven't done anything with them I don't even remember what I cooked yeah not really that cute these are all of the dishes I've been avoiding because it felt very overwhelming so instead of doing them I just put them all in my sink and my dishwasher is empty so that is just slump city this is just me not wanting to deal with it this is the acceptance part of it this is like acknowledging the fact that i'm in this place i'm in this slump not feeling like myself i can get out of that and it just is going to take some time it's going to take a little bit of effort i'm gonna to have to dedicate a little bit of energy to this space to feel like myself let's plan on a nutritious breakfast something to fuel my body i'm thinking avocado toast with an egg because i went to the farmer's market with one of my friends a few weeks ago we got this delicious sourdough bread i threw it in my freezer because i knew i wouldn't eat it all at once got some avocados i need to use i have eggs i should use so let's make some breakfast <laughs> Not too shabby, right? Although this yolk broke on this egg and I wanted it to be like over easy, over medium. I'm a little sad that it broke, but that's okay. I think it's a very normal thing for people to go through slumps at different parts in their life and in like the year that they're living. People don't talk about it because so many people want to portray themselves as these successful people that don't struggle. Like no one wants to show 
parts of their lives, whether that be on social media or even like talking to your coworkers at work or your friends or your family. Like you don't want to sit there and just be like, you know what I didn't do this weekend? I didn't do any laundry and I'm wearing old clothes that I haven't washed. No one wants to talk about those kinds of things usually. It looks different on everybody because if I was somebody that worked like a Monday through Friday, nine to five, and I had kids and I did this and that, it would look a little different. And obviously I'm no psychologist, no psychiatrist, but I do feel like that is a normal part of life to have these highs and lows. I mean, I feel like everybody experiences them, but you always want to sit back, take a minute to assess how you're feeling, assess the situation. Are you in a slump almost every single day for months and months and months? Is this like routine? Is it like when you're a woman, it's around your period? Are you dealing with some other personal struggles in life? Is it due to your relationship, your job, whatever it is, can you associate it with something that's going on in life or is it happening all the time for no reason with no explanation and you just feel like crap all the time to me that would warrant like visiting your doctor maybe seeking therapy maybe realizing that it could be something more than just i'm in a slump and it could be that maybe you're dealing with depression maybe you're dealing with anxiety maybe there is more to the story than just i'm in a slump because i definitely don't want this video to downplay any of those mental health disorders like depression or anything like that there are some similarities they do overlap when you're in a slum, but they're not the same. So I just want to make that no, and I want to differentiate the two because depression is not something that you can kind of just get out of quickly just by like cleaning your apartment and like going for a walk. It's a lot deeper rooted than that. I finished with my breakfast. Let's tackle the kitchen. Let's do some cleaning. Literally most of it is just putting all these dishes in the dang dishwasher, but this is how we get out of the slump. We start cleaning the environment and the space that we are in. But first, Oh, don't look now. She said, oh, how did you do that? I haven't even used this laundry basket in so long. This has been a laundry basket that's just been holding stuff because I've been too lazy just to deal with it. All of this is just clothes. Like I literally have just been throwing stuff in here, making an entire mess. So let's go through it. Let's see what's clean, what's not. See if I can organize some stuff and go from there. This is dirty, inside out. Good indicator that it's dirty. Oh, no, no. Man down, broken hanger. Gonna have to do a second load of laundry. Dang it, it's okay, it's fine. Jeans that need to be hung up. As you can see, I have jeans hung up back there. Why these did make the cut, I don't know. Why these didn't make the cut, I don't know. Jump scare. I look a little different since the last time you saw me. I'm feeling like myself again. I can't explain it. Having this entire day to just like recoup, reset, and work on digging myself out of this hole has just been amazing. And I'm so grateful for the schedule that I have to have full days off like this to do stuff like this. It's hard to tell with this clay mask, but I am smiling about that. One of the things I forgot to mention in the midst of this sort of getting out of a funk routine is I love trying to incorporate movement to some capacity. There are a million and one studies that prove that exercise and movement just release dopamine or serotonin or one of those lovely brain inhibitor chemicals in your brain to just help you feel better. I actually did not go to the gym or anything and it was also raining all day so I was not about to take my hot girl walk in the rain. However, the end of the night is here. As you can tell, I am in bed. I've got my cozy sheets on, water bottle. I am just going to take like the next 10 minutes or so to do like a guided breathing meditation. I feel like movement to whatever capacity or whatever that means for you, you can do, whether that is deep breathing or yoga or just basic stretches. Like it doesn't always have to be a 60 minute workout, whatever, especially if you're getting out of like a funk or something, it's really hard to motivate yourself to go to the gym for 60 minutes. Like that's just a lot. So for me right now, for today, just kind of like 
helping myself get out of this place that I've been in, I feel like a 10 minute guided meditation is going to be perfect and exactly what I need. Plus 10 minutes is just enough time I need for this clay mask to actually harden and get the job done. So let's do a little guided meditation. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that Your favorite place is still mine Now I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you but sometimes I do, cause sometimes I drive. The last thing that's on my to-do list for today, in honor of getting myself out of a rut that I've been in for a little while, is just to do a little bit of journaling. It's truly nothing fancy. All I do is just grab my journal and I just do a little bit of self-reflection. I just kind of write down and jot down just some notes about how I've been feeling, how today felt, how it feels to have like a good clean environment and space, how it feels to take time for myself, how it feels to meditate, to do my skincare, my self care, and also write down some reasons that I think I was really in this pretty bad slump to begin with. Just kind of write down things that have been stressors or some difficult things in life and see if I can work on eliminating those stressors or see what I can do to work on not being as stressed out all the time about these certain things. Just writing how you genuinely feel right now and how you want to feel later or a time in your life when you felt really really great or a time in your life when you didn't feel so great like self-reflection is just so 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 important and i think that's how you grow as a person and that's how you can better yourself and that's how you can work on getting out of a funk or a rut or a slump or whatever i've called it this entire video taking time for yourself allowing yourself to reflect also allowing yourself to really acknowledge the fact that you were in this like low point and the things that you are doing currently and the things you're going to continue to do to help keep yourself out of that low place or out of that slump. I'm going to do some journaling to end my night and then I will be cozying up in my amazing Brooklyn and sheets because I took an everything shower. Okay. I'm in cozy matching pajamas, which means like I'm just like in my prime. We've got a hair oil in, I did a face mask, I'm journaling, and I did meditation, and now I'm sleeping on like the world's softest sheets. I'm about to sleep like a baby tonight, and I can't wait. And thank you again so much to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description of this video to shop some of these amazing sheets so you too can have an amazing night's sleep. Remember to go easy on yourself, and I'll see you in the next video. At first, all of the turns that I had to unlearn Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were